I did not make an intro for this week's vlog. Um, do apologize. It's not. I'm now posting it because last week was just crazy. This whole week was crazy for me. So did a lot though. Last weekend was so fire for me though. Two shoots and I was able to be real creative with the shoots. One of the shoots I did was for our 35th wedding anniversary. So you'll see that in the in the loop and everything like that. But all last week my house was just like turned upside down because I had a, a some hair clogged in the pipes of the of the tub. But because of the position that it was in, you really couldn't see anything. Like you couldn't get to it. So I had a contract to come and just knock down everything, knock down my entire kitchen, the walls, everything. You have to pull apart the cabinet just to find this hair that just stopped everything from going down. So you'll see all of that in this week's vlog. So you'll just check out everything. Again, I apologize so, so late. I'm posting it. Oh. Yo, I swear every time I'm posting something, a car wants to go off. Like this is just ridiculous to me. But anyway, yeah. So look into that and I'll see y'all guys on the next one, all right? successful shoot today um no swim class for the youngin today had to do a shoot um well swim class is over so it's not like i i fronted on it's not like i fronted on um swim class just to do the shoot it was just a fit for the mere fact that swim class is over there's only four lessons and um she enjoys it she, I think she, if I'm not mistaken, uh, cause I woke up earlier, but she went back to sleep. She woke up and was like, swim class daddy? I was like, nah, chicken, no swim class today. I said, daddy gotta shoot. But then I also said, swim class is finished. Swim class is officially over. I told her swim class is officially over. So it's all, it's done, it's a done deal for that. And I think September we do another swim class and it's gonna be in a different place. Won't be in Chelsea Piers anymore. It's going to be in um, the YMCA, actually. Because it's fun to stay at the YMCA. <laughs> so I'm headed back to the crib now from this shoot. I'm going to go over some stuff. Got to do a quick video as well from the event that I did last week. Hope you guys enjoyed last week's weekend vlog. Today's gonna be another like slow paced day. And I hope you guys love the behind the scenes footage that I that you I uh, showed you guys for the shoot. Um, but yeah, you know, that's just what it is. You rocking. So I got some work being done in the crib. This is literally I cannot take a shower like at all because of all this gunk and dirt and all this other ish in here um not sure what really has happened like the sink like the tub would just get like a swimming pool like so nothing will go down so we got somebody coming doing some work onto it but haven't taken a shower wasn't able to take a shower at all last night so luckily though i was able to go to my parents house and, and get something done so i have a huge 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 dilemma right now as you all know, I am a podcast host and I have for Pat for the first year and a half, I have my boy E behind the boards taking care of all the production and everything like that. Since then though, I've gotten better at since 
since then I've gotten way better in my production and I've actually gotten a lot of tools to produce my podcast by myself since E went my bad I mean some friends from from the south they came up here they're coming up here so I'm gonna do some things real quick but real quick though so the dilemma is this I want the new I want the pod track P4 it is a um, I have the pod track P4 from Zoom in which I do all my production with the podcast it's this nifty joint right here this joint right here but the I want the roadcaster now the roadcaster is something that is super uber professional and that right there will put my production to a whole nother level but the question is to myself am I really gonna use it that much where this can do the job for me I'm not producing other people's podcasts so I don't necessarily need that and I don't use the buttons on my podcast recorder as much so that's the dilemma I'm facing right now because I want one but the question is do I want one because it looks nice and you'll see the picture of the the roadcaster somewhere on the screen but do I want it because it looks nice or do I want it because I need it right So, just got back in the house and you guys heard my little rant last week when I spoke about my podcast episode about people bashing the WNBA and women's sports. You know, you guys heard me like really go in, like I was really passionate about it. Roll the clip right now of what I just saw at the Barclays. Roll the clip. is literally the scene in front of the Barclays Center for the Las Vegas Aces and the New York Liberty WNBA game. Shit is packed. It's bananas. For those who say, oh, no one cares about the WNBA and all this other foolishness, like, clearly, Clearly, some people care enough about it that they're there right now and they rather they spent their hard-earned money for it, for the tickets, but they gave the tickets away for free. End of the day, end of the day, they're at the game. They're at the game on a Sunday afternoon when they probably could be doing something other than watching the WNBA game for a game that no one really cares about. They're there. Anyway, really quickly, I've started reading a lot now. Um, I have countless amount of books. I grew up reading a lot because I used to go to the library with my dad every two weeks when I was a youngin. That's why I developed the love of uh, of reading and writing. So, if you don't know, I am a journalism major in Bro at Brooklyn College degree. Wanted to go back for my master's, but that's when the whole pandemic happened. So I did not go back for my master's. I was going to do um, sports journalism, um, broadcasting, I'm sorry. But that's a story for another day. But this book right here. I've been reading this book and I'm telling myself I want to give myself at, to read at least 10 pages per day. And yeah, I started reading it. It is Kobe Bryant and the Pursuit of Immortality, The Rise by Mike Selesky. And this is the book that I've been reading recently. It's a good read so far. Obviously it's about Kobe Bryant, rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. Um, but yeah, I feel like you should, you should try to give yourself at least some time to do some reading. My apologies for the noise in the background. Oh, let me turn off the AC. He was pretty loud, right? I can't to that. Anyway, got a big event tonight. My manager from my actual regular nine to five, 
her 25th wedding anniversary. Doing the photos for that, so I'm about to pack up the stuff really quickly to get that taken care of. I don't want to miss anything, because one of the worst things you could ever do is pack for an event and then you miss items. And that's not something that I, I like doing. Because I've done a few events in which I did an event in the vlog um, two weeks ago. I did an event in which I forgot my flash and I knew the foot, the, the, I thought they would have been shooting at night, I mean during the daytime, but you know, people get there late, get to their destinations late, got there late, sun fell, and I had no flash to take pictures. So that's never a good thing. But within the next few days though, um, I mean next few days, after I process everything and get everything in the camera bag, we'll see how everything turns out. Running out the house, brought the wrong memory card case because I separate my case from micro USB, um, micro memory cards and the big ones. I bought the small one, I bought the small one with the adapter not in it. And those are my bigger cards. So now I gotta rush and get my smaller cards because I do not have an adapter in this case. So I need, <laughs> going forward, to keep adapters in this case no matter what. And I need that no matter what so I can avoid a situation like this again. I'm so pissed. Luckily, the spot is only eight minutes away from me. So somebody's on their way bringing me my memory cards. Another set of memory cards. Pro tip. Big pro tip. To avoid what happened to me just now. Like, don't you don't want to tell that this happened to you. So without an adapter for the micro, for the micro mini cards, for the micro SDs, you should try and keep an adapter, uh, a micro SD adapter in your car, in your in your bag at all times. And even if you keep a 16 gigabyte regular memory, regular size memory card in your uh, in your bag, do so as well. Try to have as many memory cards as even in your bag, not even in the case itself, just in the bag itself. And you should be okay because then you would not be scrambling the way that I just had to scramble, which I missed a few things, but I'm a pro, so I know how to work around things. Just found a brand new photo shoot location. This joint back there is amazing. It's immaculate. It's fire. Just left. Kips. Just caught some shit, but yo, let me. Get, I'm gonna do y'all. I'm gonna do better justice. Like that's a mag. That's fire. That's just fire. Like the shots I can do right here is just crazy. Now I already know once I get a few models on this spot, we're gonna just reign supreme. But this is dope. So yeah, weekend vlogs done. Lasted a little longer than expected, but you know, we're here. Out here with the little one, shorty, me and her ice cream. I got a shake, some kiff treats, and that's just what it is. So I'll check y'all on the next one, all right? Peace to everybody. Hope you're having a good time. Peace out.